Hey guys, I'm Melina McDonald from Intimacy TV, where we're all about raw conversation, real education. Today, I'm going to be talking about, oh, what number is he? Hang on a minute. Our eighth archetype in Win the Dating Game, which is the comedian. Oh my God. We call him AKA the class clown. Now, um, I've been going through, so if you've missed them, I've been going through each archetype out of the 10 different kinds of guys that we date. This isn't just for the women to learn. Guys, you can actually learn a lot about yourselves and a lot about um, other archetypes because I get a lot of guys when I'm out that are asking me why girls like particular kind of personality types and I explain a lot of this so make sure you go back and you watch all the other videos and if you've got any further questions definitely ask me because I do only go in lightly into who these are so we can get through it nice and quick so how do I describe Mr. Comedian well for a starters human uh, humor is what I call his protein mask. It's his mask that he puts on. Uh, you'll find that these guys, um, they were the class clown growing up. They actually have learned how to not have to do a lot of work. <laughs> they worked out how to, they, they're like the ones that just know how to chillax a lot more in life. Um, it's a real skill, actually. So these guys, the great thing about the comedian is they are the icebreaker in the room. So, the, you know, your friends love Mr. Comedian. You know, your friends and family are always going to love him. Um, all your friends will definitely love him. They do, of course, they're fabulous at, or I call them, they're great liars. Now, I'm not saying this in just looking at it as a negative thing that they're constantly going to be lying at you what what it is is that number one they know how to read people very very quickly you think of any comedian that does stand up and because you've got hecklers and they're on stage especially the ones that interact with the audience they're like very quick they read people very 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 quickly so they know how to get it out of sticky situations because they know how to create amazing stories which is why we also call them great liars um What's beautiful about the comedian is that they, look, they have a lot of courage. These guys are risk takers. You know, they do things that most of us are too scared to do. And that is the amazing thing about this personality type. Um, risk takers and courage equals success. So that is the beauty that you're actually going to find with a comedian. You know, Humor is his mask. It's the mask that he puts on. So what a lot of people don't fully understand, and I think with the death of Robin Williams, you know, it, it's come up a little bit more in, in people's mindsets that com a lot of comedians do suffer from depression. So that's something that you need to get and you need to remember because their humor is a mask. This is what they wear, you know. This is how they survived being in childhood and they've continued it on into adulthood. You know, your smile is, you know, so important to them. It really is it's vital. And, you know, hello, ladies, we all love a fabulous smile, don't we? And getting a smile, you know, from you is their energy. So, you know, I, I love the comedian. They're great. They do have that dark side. So you need to be very aware of it. Now, as I talk about the 10 different kinds of archetypes, you know, at the same time, you know, I, I go into it very, very quickly for you guys, because if you want more information, you can get it in the book, Win the Dating Game. Um, what I do do, though, is I talk about what they're like in bed, who's their perfect partner, and how to dump them. And this is really important because every personality type is different. Now, um, these guys, in regards to being in bed, uh, and, I, and I will say, I've actually um, dated a few comedians, and far out, they make me laugh so much. I love it. You know, when I'm having the shittest day you know and it happened a few months ago I caught up with somebody and he said you know can you catch up and I'd had a crap day and I was like oh my god now funnily enough he'd had a crap day and as soon as we got together it was like boom and all we did was piss ourselves laughing all night and we laughed about all the things that pissed us off about our day that agitated us that made us feel like shite you know 
That is the beauty of being around the comedian. Now, don't expect that it's just a one-way street. Make sure that you're doing a two-way street, which is why we made each other laugh. But they just, they have this beautiful spark, even though they can have that dark, depressive side that they do really try and hide from you. So what are these guys like in bed? They like to look confident. They're going to really try hard to look confident because the reality is that these guys know that they're not fabulous in bed. I love you all. <laughs> um, however, you know, they know who they are. So, you know, they definitely try and look confident. So if something happens, you know, the only time humor is going to come up in bed is if something happens like, I don't know, someone farts or something. <laughs> um, you know, a bit of humor might come up there, but never laugh at his sex faces, never laugh at his sex faces because, you know, he, he will never, he'll never come back from that, let me tell you. Um, these guys are a little bit incestuous also because they're more insecure. Uh, it is part of their personality type. So they're also the most likely out of all the personality types to pay for sex. And the funny thing is, is that what they're actually paying for is they're paying for that time. So you'll find that the 45 minutes that, um, that you know, out of the hour, the 45 minutes, they're actually going to be paying you know, to offload and vent and talk the, about themselves or about things that are happening so they're being heard. And the last 15 minutes will be for some intimacy connection there. So they are the most likely to actually do that. Um, so look, oh, oh, by the way, pre and post sex itself with them is heaps and heaps of fun. So just think they may not be the best in bed, but their foreplay equals fun, which is fabulous. Their perfect partner. You know, the reality is, is that these guys, they like a healthy, stable relationship. So they've got something that's healthy and stable to come back to. However, if you don't go along with it, you know, you can get their real moody side. So you need to know, you know, that you've got to be on your toes in a relationship like this, because when they're dark and moody, it's not the most pleasant thing to be around. Um, Make sure that you're stroking their ego is really, really important. Um, <laughs> and these guys, their love language is words of affirmation. So I think it is all about the words with them. So, you know, it's uh, if you're not the kind of person that likes to do that, then don't date a comedian. Um, how do they like being dumped? Now, this is, this is uh, something I wanted to quickly look at. Um, Okay, hang on one sec, Aroonies. All right, these guys. Here's a deal. Sex is not a priority for these guys at all. It's not high on their list. So they're more your spooning, cuddling kind of guys. So think about the guys that you've been with, you know, um, because sometimes it, you know, sort of looks like a morph between two different personalities, but these guys are the ones that are genuinely going to want to just be held and just want to cuddle and maybe giggle and chillax. Chillaxing is very important for them. They, they're your real Netflix and chick, <laughs> net, net, Netflix and chill kind of guys. Um, However, you know, um, that's something that you really need to keep in mind when you're talking about what are they like in the bedroom. You know, here's, here's the real deal. You know, these guys, they really like to stay your mates. You know, staying mates is important. So when it comes to dumping them, you know, as long as, because sex isn't a massive priority, as long as they can stay in your life is something that they really want and they're really going to cherish and is really, really important for them. So, you know, the comedian, as I call them, the AKA, the class clown, <laughs> these guys are fabulous to have around. They definitely put a smile on your dial and that's really, really important. So if you want more information and get a little bit deeper into who the comedian is or any of the other 10 archetypes of the guys that we can't, we do date, make sure you go on to winthedatinggame.com.au and you can download your book from there. Um, the next personality type that we're going to be talking about will be, oh, shit, I know a lot of these fellas, is a serial monogamist. Are you ready for that? So, so far, if you've missed the other videos, I have literally gone through, um, let's see, uh, Mr. Passionate, Mr. Unavailable, Mr. Nostalgia, Mr. High Q equals Low EQ, Ooh. Mr. Perceived Perfect. 
Mr. Infatuated, The Sexual Con the Conqueror and The Comedian. So we've got two more to go. Make sure that you don't miss out tomorrow as I talk about the serial monogamist. And I know a lot of these fellas. Um, sending love to you all. Thank you very much for watching. If you've got any questions, flick me a note until the next episode, which we will be doing a live this afternoon with Jane and myself. Bye from me.